Hank. Check looks that good, out, man. dude. That's good. That's looking awesome. So before we can get the engine and transmission put into this thing, we have to get this mount welded on there from Hasport. I showed you guys earlier that this guy lines up with that bolt hole right there. So you just bolt this down, get it all welded up, and then that's good to go. And as you can see, already got all of the paint kind of cleaned off where we're gonna be welding around that. And then when we went to take the factory mount off right here, uh, the air hammer kind of chewed up some holes into the side of the sheet metal right here and there and I actually used a hammer and kind of pounded this all back out uh, into shape from the inside of the wheel well because this was all kind of caved in but now it actually has the original shape but we did poke a couple good holes in there so what I did is I made this piece out of some thin uh, sheet metal steel and this guy is going to sit just like that and I'm going to get that all welded on there get that guy looking nice I'll weld it all the way around and then I can go ahead and get the mount welded on because I can't really get to that piece with the mount in the way. So that will go there and you can't really see that anyways, but I do want to get those holes kind of covered up. And then once all this stuff is welded up, I went to Napa and I got some paint mixed. This is the exact code uh, of the route to see. I just checked that on the door over here. Now, if you guys didn't know, I do it all the time. Just look on the inside of the door right there. It says your paint color and then Napa can actually mix that into a can for you. I'm not sure if any other auto parts stores do it, but I know Napa does. And then they mix the exact paint code into an aerosol can for you. So then once this is all done and welded up, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint it all and it will match everything else. And then we will be ready to put the engine and transmission into this thing. Right now we're getting ready to make transmission to the engine, uh, but before we can do that, we obviously need to get a clutch on there and uh, let's take a look at what we got inside this box right here. So once again, from Clutch Masters, we got ourselves a triple disc clutch for the Rattacy. That's It originally had a triple disc in it before with the H-Series, but I figured we might as well keep a triple disc in there because the triple disc with the H series was working perfectly. We did have some issues a while back with the twin disc actually starting to slip. So we're still keeping it triple disc, but obviously we need to switch it to a K series. And there she is, Clutch Masters triple disc. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy on wrapped and everything. And we're gonna go ahead and get this bolted to the crank. So then we can get it also made it up to our sequential transmission and get it thrown in the van. And there she is, got the clutch right there with the flywheel. We got a little throw up bearing in here, ready to go. You guys have probably also noticed that I've been wearing this CSS shirt a lot ever since we got it. And it's because they sent a whole bunch of them and I've actually been staying the night up here, over here trying to get this thing done. So you know, we get limited with some clothes. <laughs>
we are almost there. We got the transmission bolted to the engine and everything inside the engine bay is ready to go. We got our mount welded in and painted. Came out awesome, really happy with how that plate came out as well. You can hardly even see that that's back there. Got that all welded in and ground down and then painted over. That came out great, everything's looking awesome. And we kind of cleaned up the engine bay a little bit more. It would have been nice to paint the whole engine bay on the router seat, but I believe a lot of this stock paint is gonna look really good. We're gonna also be like deleting the ABS later on and stuff like that and just kind of clean it up. It's not gonna be a show car. We are gonna put this thing to use, race it around, so I'm not too worried about the engine bay looking super pretty. But you know, time may tell. We might pull it out and give this thing a nice tuck and clean it up. But for right now, it's time to get that inside of there. Well guys, the K-Series and Sequential is in. It's actually the next day. Me and Todd stayed here and got it in late last night, but she is in there and it's looking awesome. We also have one more thing I'm gonna throw on real quick. We also have this starter and alternator, but that's for later. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open this real quick. You wanna grab this real fast? It's also out of this box right here. Guys, so the uh, oh, yeah, Skunk man. 2 center feet manifold. I wanted to throw this on real quick, kind of help fill up the engine bay a little bit. That's gonna look epic, dude. Turn it on just like that. One bolt should do. There it is. I'll hold it for now. Dang, check Looks that good, out, man. dude. That's good. That's looking awesome. So, there it is. 1000 horsepower K-Series, got the sequential made it to it, everything is in. Huge shout out to Hasport for the mounts. We actually had to modify this mount right here a little bit. I had to kind of cut around all this stuff right here because it was hitting on this stuff, but it was not designed for the Quave. But we got that figured out, fixed, got the back mount on there, side mount, and then they also sent me this cool little billet side piece. But yeah, from here on, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding all the engine accessories, like the water pump and stuff, start getting the fuel system figured out, keep going from there, and then Probably one of the next steps will obviously to get a turbo manifold made and uh yeah but there she is guys it's that's looking cool. awesome i'm excited really good yeah i know I was, we talked about it and looked at pictures but I, this is the first time i get to see it too and that turned out yeah great notched it you can't even I mean, tell it that, like, that it actually looks like that's how they made it yeah looks good yeah there's this little piece over here i'd cut this out yeah man i remember looking at that in the picture yeah that guy went like that and it was hitting so i just cut that out you really she did a fits. Good job. It looks great. Yeah, it was a late night. Yeah. But she's in there. So. It looks fun. This is going to be epic. Hell yeah. I love the router seat, so this is just, just extra cool. Go in and then put a battery. Get yeah. a brand new battery. That'll be for another video. Got the harness, though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys. Very cool. That's going to do it for this one. And the next one, we'll start buttoning stuff up and you can get a turbo kit thrown together because obviously it's going to have a turbo. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> You're only going to need this much room. Yeah, only that much. <laughs> yeah. You guys will see what we got going for it in the next video. <laughs> what he said, we showed him the little turbo earlier. Yeah, yeah that's, we got the little yeah, turbo going plenty for it. Room for that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm excited. That's awesome. Rowdy's going to be rowdy. Rowdy. But we'll see you guys in the next one.